if you are looking for growth, if you are looking for transformation, if you are looking to step into your main character era, look no further than The Green Room. DM me on socials to find out all about my brand new community available at just 99 cents a month for my first 100 subscribers. Hello gorgeous and welcome back to The Girlfriend's Guide. There is a big hairy secret that no one tells you when you decide to strengthen your boundaries. You guys know that I am a straight shooter who is committed to telling you the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And so in today's episode, I'm going to let you in on it and it may shock you. Much like with growth or personal development, boundary setting can be incredibly painful. The truth is there are a ton of really complicated emotions that come up when you decide to put up some perimeters around your time, your money, your resources, and your emotional well-being. It is so easy, so much easier, I should say, to set boundaries with strangers because you're not emotionally tied to them. Their potential for blowback is really minimal. If they never speak to you again, big whoop right? But when there is something on the line, it is so hard. It's the primary reason why I tell my clients, my peers, my patients to, if you're going into a relationship or you're taking a new job or something like that, set your boundaries very early in the beginning. Decide what you will tolerate, what you won't tolerate, how much you're going to deal with, how far this person can go. Communicate that and hold the line. That way there's no confusion or shock or blowback on the other side because you knew what it was from the beginning, right? But when it comes to setting those boundaries with people that we've been dealing with, with our family, our loved ones, our friends, baby, emotions fly so high and our judgment often gets clouded by the threat of what may happen or how someone might feel. In case you need a reminder, let me just share with you again that how someone else feels or responds to your boundary is not your responsibility. Not only is it not your responsibility, it's really not your business. It's your job to effectively communicate the boundary, clearly state what you need or expect, and then take the necessary steps to enforce it. It's their responsibility to process, cope, or adjust accordingly. And let it be known that that works in reverse, meaning that when someone sets a boundary with us, and trust me, sis, they definitely will, it's not their job to coddle us or apologize to us or try to make us feel better. It's their job to effectively communicate exactly what they're expecting or what they want or what they need. And it's up to us to decide whether or not we're up for that. And that means that lots of times, we will lose relationships, closeness, community, interaction with people that are very close to us. And that's a part of it. Some of my greatest boundary woes have been setting boundaries and expectations with people in my romantic and familial relationships. We've talked in the past about how families have a balance or what we call homeostasis in the social sciences. And that as we evolve, change, and grow, or in this instance, set boundaries, it can throw off the balance of things. If we aren't careful, we'll find ourselves trying to manage the emotions of the people that we love. And again, placing our own feelings, our own needs, our own desires on the back burner and spinning our wheels getting nowhere, or we're right back in the place where we started. So I want to remind you that knowing what you need for success and applying those boundaries may cause some people that you love grief or pain, and it can be incredibly heavy because it could be misinterpreted as disrespect or being mishandled or being mistreated or like you don't care. And that does not have to be the case. You get to communicate how you feel and what you need, and you get to walk in your power despite how the other person feels, okay? I've said it time and time again that you don't need to necessarily apologize for your boundaries, but when it comes to certain people, and I'm not even usually a but person, but I'm going to say it here. That's two times. Write that down because it doesn't happen. 
When it comes to certain people, you have to weight the gravity of the relationship. And when a person means a lot to you, sometimes it's better to communicate what's going on, not as an apology and not as a justification, but for clarity and out of respect for the relationship. For instance, if you are living a life of sobriety and you're not ready to be around people who've been drinking or at a bar and you get invited to an event by a cousin, a sister, a friend where there's going to be alcohol, you get to set that boundary. You get to say, hey, sister friend, I love you. and I'm so grateful for you and another year that we are celebrating your life. My sobriety is really important to me and I'm not going to put myself in that compromising situation. So I would love to take you to lunch maybe someday next week. You let me know what day works for you. That's a boundary. You did not apologize for how you feel. You didn't say, you know, I can't believe that you would have a a party at a bar knowing about my sobriety. You didn't say, how dare you? You didn't make this a big, huge deal. You said, hey, I love you. I'm grateful for you. This is my boundary, and this is what I'd like to do. You set up a plan. That is effective boundary setting. Distancing yourself from certain behaviors and environments very well could result in relationships changing or dropping off completely. And I want to remind you that that is okay if it is for your greater good. And even if it's painful, We get to remember that everyone is not meant to go with us on every part of our journey. That is a part of growth. That is a part of restoration. That is a part of evolution. When we stop doing or allowing things that we previously were available to, people tend to have emotions behind it. They're going to say things like, what's gotten into you? And you're too good for us now. And it's really important in those moments that we reflect, we stand in our personal power and realize that this is a reflection of them and a response that they are having due to a pattern, right? It's not about you. It's about the change. And this is not a personal attack. This is not an indication that you're wrong or that somehow you've made them uncomfortable. And no matter how uncomfortable you feel with their emotions, we get to sit with it. We get to sit with it. Remember that sitting with it, sitting with that discomfort, that is where strength is forged. And if we go back on our boundary, then we are perpetuating a pattern that we no longer want to live in. We're fighting so hard to break it. So you have to stay there. I love you. I want the best for you. If you need support, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I want you to know that you can get through this. You can be a boundaries babe, a boundaries boss. It just takes some dedication and work. Have an excellent week, sis, and we'll chat the next one.